Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play in Isma 11 Victory Road Beta once again. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard because, because why not? I'm having fun with this <laughs> control setup. It's really dumb, but I like it a lot. I actually played, uh, before recording, I played uh, a match on Godhood difficulty and I was able to win effortlessly. So it's, it's definitely very valid and uh, perfectly functional uh, control setup. So I'm probably just gonna play with mouse and keyboard forever now. Um, you might notice in the corner over here, uh, we got an update today, version 1.1.5. Uh, it was 1.1.4 yesterday when I was recording the previous parts. Um, yeah, they, they were very quick to issue an update to fix some uh, problems with the uh, the uh, cross-save uh, system. I uh, I had no issue uh, downloading my save from the Switch version, but a lot of people have been uh, running into issue downloading from cross-save. So apparently they fixed it. Uh, well, I hope they fixed it. I haven't seen anyone confirm or deny that it works, but hopefully that works. Uh, yeah, just an update very that was released very fast compared to what we got for the Switch version. Uh, like, <laughs> for on Switch we had to wait for like two months to get a single update. I don't know what was stopping them from just releasing a 1.0.1 patch to solve the small issues right away and then do the big content update later in May, but I don't know, they, they handle it that way. Um, also, yeah, I was while, while talking I was looking at this and like, I did not play 77 hours. <laughs> I absolutely did not play 77 hours. Someone told me that they the, the add like like 50 hours to the counter for no reason. I don't know why that is, but a lot of people have been uh, uh, reporting that they had absolutely absurd, <laughs> uh, an absurd play time. Uh, so yeah, it's probably closer to 27 hours uh, of real play time, which is still pretty good. Uh, I think Hino said that the, the the beta would have like a, maybe like 20 to 30 hours of playtime if you really did, wanted to do all everything in the, in the beta. And yeah, he wasn't lying. I did play for quite a while. Number of matches played four. That must be what I played on this version, because I've played more than four matches. You've seen more than four over the course of this let's play. So yeah, this should be the ones I played on Steam. I'm guessing I did not play any matches on Switch since the update dropped, so maybe this counter here only reflects what I've been playing since the update introduced cross-save, so maybe that's why it's only four. 48 players, yeah, that checks out. There will be 49 when we unlock beta in this part today. And story of progress, now this is interesting. Uh, it shows that I've progressed like 8% of story mode. Uh, I've seen some people on Twitter say they have 9%, like, by doing all the side quests and everything, so it probably keeps track of all the side content as well. But, like, that's, like, 8 9% for just one chapter, which kind of checks out with what we usually get in a uh, in a Sim 11 story, uh, which is, like, 10 chapters. So, yeah, it seems like we can get an idea of what the length of the game is going to be, considering it takes, like, maybe two to three hours to do chapter one, at least at my pace. It's probably going to be a 25 to 30 hour game, which is pretty good. And then we have Chronicle Mode progress to 0% because th th there's no Chronicle Mode here in this uh, in this demo. Anyways, I didn't want to <laughs> look at the... Um, uh, the uh, oh, oh, before we start competition mode, yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> looking at the cross-save menu, looking at uh, the title screen. Something I wanted to show you about story mode. Uh, I played a bit of story mode before recording as well because I wanted to try something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I did a, a, a quick... Uh, focus squabble just to try out the uh, mouse and keyboard um, um, controls uh, I'm not gonna do another battle just to show you that but basically you uh, you click on all the buttons instead of using the, uh, the, the the keys which is a bit confusing at first but I feel like it could be a uh... wait huh it did not give me any item what did I did I hallucinate this <laughs> it didn't give me any items what the heck Ball, what the, what's wrong with you? Um, anyways, yeah, uh, you press E to kick the ball. You press E to interact with pretty much everything. You can use the mouse to move the camera around. Sorry if I'm moving a bit fast. It must be <laughs> a bit hard to watch. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to try out the uh, mouse and keyboard controls. Uh, also, you might notice that the... Well, it's not very visible here, but like if you look at the grass over here, the textures are much, look much nicer than they did when I was playing yesterday. Uh, turns out, maybe I can show it to you here, 
in the settings over here, uh, there's actually like a, like I was already on a high uh, preset graphics, so all of these are high. I don't know what most of these words mean because I'm not a true gamer, but uh, there's also this HQ mode setting. And for some reason, it was on, like HQ mode was on, but all of these settings below HQ mode were off. I don't know how that's supposed to work. Like, like it was like this, but instead of custom, it said on. And like normally if you have it on, everything here should be on. So that's why, uh, like I was saying like, oh, uh, the game looked a bit nicer on PS4. Uh, like the grass looks nicer on PS4. <laughs> that's because I had the setting off. And I'm pretty sure like if I, uh, like additional objects, like if I turn it off and apply, save changes, if I, uh, I kind of, or, or it kind of looks the same, I don't know. I, I don't trust my eyes anymore. <laughs> anyway, it's like, it might not be, oops, it might not be as noticeable as story mode, but when I was playing in competition mode earlier, I could notice that the, the pitch, the grass on the pitch was much nicer. So, uh, yeah, I was just tinkering with the settings. So the game should look a bit nicer now. Which, yeah, there's definitely more foliage when I turn the setting on. Like, this foliage right here wasn't there before, was it? Sorry, we're not going to play the game today. We're just going to look at grass for 40 minutes. <laughs> um, where is it? Additional objects off. Save changes. Now, is the grass still there? No, it's gone. It, I, I saw it disappear in front of my eyes. Okay, so there definitely is, uh, yeah, there definitely is a difference when you have HQ mode uh, turned on. So yeah, I'll just leave everything on for now, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll replay story mode off camera just to enjoy uh, the beautiful graphics. Also, I get to play it uh, in ultra wide. It'll probably be nicer. Uh, what have I noticed was I was replaying story mode. Uh, these guys over here, remember? They were already like complaining, oh, he ran away when we saw them last time. I think there was a bug, because like you're supposed to encounter them here, and if you talk to them just like last time, it skips and like it's implied that Cameo ran away, maybe because we distracted them. Uh, I don't know what's up with that, but yeah, I wish Cameo had, had an actual role in the story. I want to learn more about this guy. Uh, speaking of the story, yeah, I've, I've had the night to reflect on what happened yesterday, and I have mixed feelings. Uh, like, I still enjoy what I played through. Like I said, like the, the cutscenes were really good. By the way, cutscenes, uh, it's kind of weird that up until the ending of the Switch version, we had a bunch of um, MAPPA animated cutscenes, and then all the new uh, content was just like 3D animated cutscenes, no new 2D animated cutscenes. Uh, aside from the one where Yagyu uh, talks to Unmei, Unmei is like, uh, yeah, uh, let's, uh, like, uh, we'll fight to gain control of the school grounds, whatever. Uh, anyways, yeah, the reason I wanted to show you, the thing I wanted to show you, Juno is, was hidden here this whole time, and she was playing around with her tablet. It's like, oh, it looks like things are getting interesting, <laughs> It's like, like, but when you talk to her, she just has the same dialogue as before, which is like, oh, the student council has the, their eyes on you, whatever. Uh... So yeah, like it's definitely implied that it's her controlling uh, the Kraken. It's a really nice detail. Uh, I'm glad I came back here to notice that. Uh, but yeah, overall, um, the the new story content gave me the feeling that the pacing is a bit all over the place in story mode. Because like when you think about it, like already there was a like the transition between. Um, Sorry, I'm doing things while I'm playing, just to so you don't have to <laughs> look at me uh, staring at whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, that was a ter terrible idea because, as you know, I'm terrible at talking and <laughs> commenting, this, uh, playing and talking at the same time. What was I going to say? The pacing is a bit off. Like, we go from this uh, back alley uh, fight uh, with... Uh, oh, I have to say the character before clicking. That's why it didn't show me anything. I'm dumb. It's like we went from this focus battle in the back alley to, oh, let's go back to school. And now all this whole drama with the uh, baseball club. And now Unmei has this whole, like, I have to reveal my backstory to Briar so that Briar becomes my friend. And now they're best friends. Okay, we're going to build the soccer day football club. So it feels like you've only done half of the chapter 
and you have to build the football club. But as we saw, there's barely anything happening after that. We pass the ball to Cedric a couple of times, we go down and up the stairs, then the Kraken shows up for no reason, and we fight the Kraken, and the chapter ends. It feels so weird. The pacing is a bit weird. Like, the chap chapter one could have ended... Uh, I feel it could have ended... Uh, like, after Unmei and uh, Thierry's confrontation, it would have been fine, but they add all of this stuff, so it feels like we're starting chapter two, like, start, like, the birth of the new um, football club, but then nothing happens. It's immediately stopped by this weird Kraken battle. They don't explain what's going on. We get a new uh, club, house, club room, and then, uh, yeah, that, that, that's it. Oh no, they're angry at me for rebelling against Jerry. Yeah, it's like, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. It's to become one of the kings, so you do it begins towards the baseball, baseball club. So it really seems like the kings is the name of the baseball club. So I might have been right with that. Uh, anyway, I don't know why I'm still exploring. That's not what I wanted to do for this part. I just wanted to show you a few things and share some thoughts about the story. Overall, I'm still very uh, pleased with the writing, the characters. I really like everyone we've, in, we've, meet, we've met so far. I'm just... I'm not sure... Like, I can't shake off the feeling that a lot of the things we saw in this chapter one was being made as the updates rolled out. <laughs> like... The fact that they turned the Kraken from a side quest to a main quest. I don't know if it was always meant to be part of the story or not. It's also weird that Juno, which seems to be a main character, is voiced by Dakota, which is who's an ambassador. Uh, which is like, it seemed like it would have been a little cameo, but now it seems like she's a major character in the plot, which is really surprising. And at the same time, it's really cool for her, because I really like Dakota. But, like, it really seems like... Between the cutscenes, we'll go from MAPA cutscenes to 3D in-engine cutscenes. Uh, plot points being rewritten like that with the Kraken. And also, like, the weird structure of the chapter, where it's like meeting Briar and helping him deal with, uh, like, those bad guys in the back alley. Uh, having uh, rock-paper-scissors battles. And then, all of a sudden, now we start playing football out of nowhere. This whole extended chapter one which, fe which feels like it could have been chapter two but they added more stuff to chapter one i, I don't know it's like, oh i didn't see the guy oh no i'm sorry oh maybe that's why it didn't give me any items before there was a phantom dude i should have passed the ball to and i didn't maybe that's why uh can proceed further yeah i know uh okay man i completely i did not see that phantom guy it's always at the same spot. Let, let me see. If I go back inside and then leave again, will he respawn? He was over there. Oh, yeah, you can see the ball has its like little uh, flame thing. And so when you get close, yeah, you can see the... Uh, the guy okay okay so I have to pay attention not just kick every ball I find but also uh, like make sure that it's not a like a, a flame ball I don't know what to call it uh, anyways I think that's enough story mode for now <laughs> we've seen story mode quite a lot especially me who's been playing it a lot off screen uh, so I'm gonna stop here wait wait let, let me just see I got a few tokens do I have enough to buy something at the shop It'd be nice to at least buy one thing. That's also, that's also something that's kind of weird. Why did they bother adding stat bonuses and this training and this shop equipment, given that this will not be used until at the earliest, the end of chapter two? I don't know why it is that way. It's kind of weird. It really feels like just added it because people were complaining that there wasn't any football in the demo, and so they added it so that people will stop complaining. <laughs> kind of feels like it. And no, I can't buy anything still. Uh, okay. Oh, this is a rare one, so obviously I can't. Man. It's like, do I have to keep farming battles just so I can buy useless equipment? Is that what it is? Oh, uh, well, maybe I'll do that on my free time. Uh, <laughs> just for the heck of it. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna stop uh, here. So let's go back to the title screen and let's do some competition mode. Uh, yeah, 
I was hoping this would just be a five minute intro, but I spent like 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I get distracted so easily and I just end up wasting everyone's time. Uh, items acquired, yeah. Okay, let's go to the shop and let's unlock the one and only beta from Protocol Omega 2.0. Confirm. Yes. Oh, it's a separate team dock. Really? <laughs> She's all alone. She's all alone in her team dock. Oh no. <laughs> Beta. Oh, poor sweet child. She's all alone. I was wondering how they would introduce her because like the player bank is unavailable. So I thought like, how are they gonna make her available? Where is she going to be? She needs to be somewhere so that you can swap out one character with her. They put her in a separate team dog. <laughs> team dog zero four. Uh, yeah, you can't change the name. I'm kind of tempted because like, all these teams have a set name. Inism All Stars, National Champs, Elias Masters. Since this one is just Team Doc 04, I'm kind of tempted to move everyone over here. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't seem like I can actually. Uh, training. Uh, move. Let me let me try this. Uh, okay, say I want to move Sony. Uh, it doesn't let me. Oh, I kind of wanted to have my team called Team Dog 04. <laughs> that would have been funny. Okay, so it only lets me um, put it where Beta is. Okay, so this is this is the prison, basically. This is where all the naughty players end up. And there's just one naughty player and it's Beta. So who is going to take her place now? Who do I send to the uh, dimensional pri prison that is Team Dog 04? Beta. What does she look like, actually? So she's a midfielder, but she has a high kick stat. Also, that's kind of weird. Like they give us like the uh, like the maximum stats. Like if you train them, like you did the same trainings that we did in story mode. But to my knowledge, there's no way to train them in competition mode. So it's just like tempting us with like, look at how in the full game you can make them stronger, but you won't be able to this time. Um, Fission infusion. I don't know what move that is. It's like a double shot move. I think that's what it is. Um, how do I change? How do I change uh, tabs? That's just a team, <laughs> team parameters. Wow, what a great team, doesn't do anything. Uh, oh, I'm dumb. There are errors over here. So it's A and E, okay. Sorry, still getting used to uh, navigating in the menus with mouse and keyboard. Um, own focus value. Okay, so it's a focus boost, scramble boost. Team's bridge rate plus 2%, okay. When team wins, focus scramble, tension plus 10%. Okay, that's pretty, pretty okay, I guess. Uh, let's just, Put her on our main team. Let's see. Who do I replace her with? Man, looking at the, the stats of my character, my level, uh, almost max level characters, and comparing it with Beta, it's, it kind of hurts. Uh, what does Ricardo do? Maybe I'll replace Ricardo with her. Just for now. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's put her here. How do I... Okay, there you go. All right. So we have our growing player beta that we're going to have to train so she can catch up with everyone else. <laughs> this is going to be uh, a long ordeal. Uh, but I'll, I'll probably... I'll definitely do that off screen. Anyways, let's do level 30 alias masters on Godhood difficulty. Just because we can. It's probably the fastest way to gain experience in um, in single player. So we can give Beta a few levels already. Maybe try her out. And yeah, I can show off my, my mouse and keyboard skills. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 
Oh, Lucky Fever. Nice. Hopefully we can get some spirits for beta that way. Oh, yeah. I have one complaint when it comes to... Uh, uh, yeah, the tactics. You have to use tab to uh, to open the tactics menu. So when you're using some of, like, the two rightmost tactics, it's left click or right click. So that's, that's, that's easy to pull off. But if I want to use this... Okay, so this one was left click. But if I want to use uh, the other two tactics, it's like uh, uh, Bullhorns or Flame Fortress, I would have to... Oh, wrong button, sorry. I would have to, while still moving, press tab with one finger and then press... A or E with another finger while still holding my fingers on the WASD keys to move around. It's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky to pull up. So yeah, uh, you won't be seeing me using a lot of tactics because of that. But the two main ones that I want to use, which is Mount Fuji to get some tension early on, and... Oh, Breach! Okay, so I, I don't remember how Breach works now. Uh, I think he has to do with, like the tension. Yeah, so he depletes my all my tension when it happens. So I think it's like the damage is proportional to uh, to uh, what do I say? It's proportional to the tension I have when I'm shooting. Oh wow! Oh. Anyway, let, let's let's play as beta. Beta. That's the whole reason I'm I'm doing this part today. It's like, it's additional damage, but if I was already going to do, like, a big amount, like, a large amount of damage just from shooting normally, then what difference does does a breach make? It's a bit confusing. Oh yeah, you can control the keeper now. I can move him around. Oh, I was able to steal the ball? What? <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Okay. Hey, Beta won her first focus battle. Let's do another one. Yeah. Focus battles are pretty useless. <laughs> like, stats are useless in focus battles. As long as you, uh... You aim for the outside of the arrows. It doesn't matter if you're level 1 or level 30. <laughs> it's kind of dumb. Uh, also, we heard... The, uh, the voice, like the, uh, uh, shoot command, whatever, whatever. So it was saying double shot. So she wasn't the one saying double shot, it was the, uh, the Protocol Omega, uh, Virtual Assistant Siri, whatever. Uh, it was saying that. Uh, sure. That was useless. <laughs> okay, I guess that's gonna be a second goal. But yeah, I wonder what people think of breaches now, because the original implementation of breach, breach, which is like you win by default as long as you have a breach, it's automatic win. I wonder what people think of it now that it's been uh, changed. Is it better? Is it worse? I really haven't seen people talk about it much, so I don't know what they think of it. Uh, it seems a bit hard to... like, to measure what the effect of Breach is going to be. Like, right now it's telling me I have... It's like, it showed very briefly... But there you go, I have another Breach. So it's like an extra 300 damage, but it also guarantees that you're going to bypass the... How do I say? It's like, usually when you're doing confrontation with the Keeper, uh, it's still the Keeper still keeps a, uh, a bit of, uh, of KP, of Keeper points. 
like, if I have 1,000 attack, he has 500 de defense. It's not going to subtract 500 from his KP. He's still going to keep a bit more, I think. But here, it, like, depletes the Keeper's KP by the shot attack and the extra uh, tension-based damage. So, like, I had two breaches. Oh, come on, Beta. Don't be so reckless. So yeah, like, I had two breaches in this match. And both of them were, like, instant kill. So I really didn't see the difference between how it was implemented before and how it's implemented now. So yeah, it's gonna... I don't know. I'm not really convinced by what it's doing. Uh, Beta has barely had any time to shine. Let's just put it at the front. Put her at the front. Also, I've made a foul, so I guess maybe... Was there a character that's like, uh, like as long as you don't? I think it was. I think it was Ricardo. That had a boost as long as we didn't do a foul. But oh, Nathan, there you go. Castle Wall DF plus ten percent. So I'm gonna replace him with maybe Tori, I guess. Oh yeah, she has a new face. Uh, they remodeled her face. They remodel a lot of characters. A lot of characters have different faces. Small details have been fixed. Uh, body shapes have been adjusted. Uh, so, yeah, they, they've been working quite a lot on competition mode, even if they didn't uh, change the uh, the core gameplay, because it needs to be uh, compatible with the Switch version for crossplay. Uh, they still try to improve the game, at least visually. Uh, the UI has changed a bit, as we saw with the stats and all. Oh my god, focus battles are, are a scam. You don't need stats, you don't need levels, just just place your character where they where they where they should be and you win. Or lose, in my case. Oh my god. Uh, sure, tower. She looks much better. She looks... she looks like... like what she's supposed to look like. <laughs> okay, let's see if Hurley can stop it. No, she he can't. Okay, uh... I should be able to catch that. Alright. Stop it with ease. No! No! Oh, they're absolutely going to score now. Uh, yeah, I think they're scoring. Yep, they are. Oh, I should have used my tactic! I forgot! I had a uh, uh, flame wall or whatever, flame fortress. Oh, no. When I played off camera, I won four to none. <laughs> I played much better than this. I'm gonna blame him on Beta. Before I had Ricardo. Before I didn't do any uh, any foul. It's Beta. She ruined it. It's her all her fault. <laughs> okay. Uh, try to get a bit of a bit of tension before trying to score. All right, zone, pass to Beta, and she can try to either chain or do a direct shot. Let's try to give him, give her some screen time a little bit. All right. Oh, I'm actually be able to do three special moves. Well, let's see. Come on, Beta. Add 36 attack to this shot. Wow. 36, 80. What a beast. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, this is not going in. That's gonna we Oh, wait, it does! And another breach! What the heck? I don't understand how breaches work now. I legit don't understand how they work. Because I was at 1000 something, but then it was 1300. So, like, does the AT that they show 
like the final AT they show, does it take into account uh, the breach bonus? I'm so confused. Okay, now. Look at that! How strong! <laughs> oh man. To be clear, I love Beta. It's just it's just so funny to me to onboard a new level one character into an already near full level character. Look at this 33 attack! This is ridiculous. Oh man. I wonder if I can get Beta to score. Beta need to score at least once. Come on, let, let, let's try to do this. Let's try to make it happen. Okay, five minutes left. We have to make it happen. Beta needs to score at least once. Uh, that's not who I was aiming for. Okay. Uh, this way. I have enough for God knows. Oh, but Beta! Beta, no! Who else? No! Oh, I spent too much time thinking. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Pass to Aphrodite. Uh, outside skill area. What? Oh, insufficient tension. I lost tension? What? Well, I guess Faye is going to score after all. Or not. Wormhole. Yeah, no, it's not scoring. Okay. It's going to take a while before Beta can score a, a goal. But she contributed to a few, uh, a few of those. So, yeah. She did well. Is she going to show up on the screen? No, she does not. Okay. She hasn't <laughs> earned her place on the victory screen just yet. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's the... Uh, the credits. Yeah, we, we, we've seen those already. Oh, speaking of credits, I have to show you this. Anyways, yeah. Okay, how is she going to level up now? Three, four, five, six. Oh, wow. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good increase. That's nice. Did I get any spirits? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, uh, well, I guess I'll train her a bit more off screen. Uh, before, before I leave though, yeah, return to title. Uh, I was looking around the, uh, yeah, player guidebook, the Even Gallery, uh, what's it called? S S scene Archives, there you go. There's the Raimon vs. Northbright cutscene. It's in there. Was it always there before? Because, like, we have the ending theme, leave the Inuzuma Mark on the world. That's the actual credits. But we also have, like, this whole cutscene with Unmei and Briar and everything viewable from the gallery. I'm pretty sure it wasn't there before in the Switch version. It actually made a point not to include any of the animated cutscenes in the gallery because, I don't know, they didn't want anyone to record them or something. So I was really surprised to see that it was there. Anyway, we're not going to watch it. We, we, we know it by heart by now. Uh, but yeah, we're still missing ending theme number two, which we... Uh, we have to beat uh, legendary hero Alias Masters for that, but we'll do that some other time. I'm going to train Beta some more, Put her, get her up to speed with the rest of the team. Actually, maybe I could increase her rarity now that I think about it, because I have a bunch of spirits. And I think they made it so... Uh, how do I say? Like, the characters level up differently depending on their uh, rarity. We saw that, like, uh, if I in like before, if I increase her to uh, to uh, whatever is after growing, I forgot a uh, top player or whatever. Instead of thirty-seven XP, she would need uh, more than thirty-seven. I don't know, like fifty-seven or something. Uh, now they made it so 
the character reverts back to a lower level when you increase their rarity uh, to match up for the changed lower uh, level curve, which is interesting. Also, we finally have a working <laughs> experience bar, I just noticed. Before, it was always empty. They fixed it. Man, they did so much work on very obvious stuff. Uh, let's, let's try this. Let's try to level her up because I have a bunch of... Like, I don't need any Bylong Spirits anymore. Uh, how do I... Yeah, I have to click. Oh, I can only give her give her two because she's going to level up immediately. Is that it? Okay. Let's try this. Advanced player. So she's at level six and she was needing 37. See? She went down to level five because her total experience... Like, the total experience point she's uh, earned up to that point, if she had been an advanced player, uh, that would place her at that point in level 5 instead of level 6. So, I guess it's no longer an issue to level them up, uh, like, to raise their rarity, because even though the, like, their level decreases, the stats and the, the skills increase as well uh, with, the, uh, with the rarity. So, like, I think... I would assume it balances things out. Like, yeah, she's only at level 5, but she's a stronger level 5 than she would have been with uh, her normal rarity. Actually, I should have maybe looked at the stats before uh, before upgrading her. Let's try this again. Level 5, 31 kick. So say I increase her to uh, top player now. All right, so she's down to level four. And extra breach rate, that's nice. Yeah, see, she has a stronger kick. So like, even though she's a lower level, she's still going to get uh, better stats. And like, it's gonna take longer for her to grow, but that's, that's just because characters at the higher rarity have like, can get more experience points basically. So she still has the same amount of experience points. She still has better stats, it's just that, it's going to look like she takes longer to level up, but ultimately it's still going to uh, to be better in the long run, I think. Maybe I'm taking things completely the wrong way, and it's actually less efficient to level to increase their rarity out of the gate. But I, I don't, I don't really care. Let's finish this video. I wasn't able to get her to score. I feel kind of bad for it. So, uh, wait, I think I might want to keep uh, Zell's. Uh, Spirit. Let's go with the ones from my team that I know I have. Okay, there you go. Let's max her out. She didn't score a goal, so to make up for it, I'm gonna give her a bit more screen time by turning her into a legendary player. And there you go. Legendary beta. Now I have to get her to level 20-something. <laughs> so she's up uh, at the same level as everyone else. And we'll do that. I mean, I'll do that off camera. Oh my god, she's so small compared to everyone else. Uh, but yeah, I'll train her. And then next time, in the next part, we will unlock legendary hero Ilias Masters. The final challenge of competition mode in single player, of course. There's still, uh, there's still another rank they haven't tried to get to reach. I'll definitely try. But yeah, so... Uh, I guess I'll see you next time for some more uh, competition mode where we try out the Legendary Hero difficulty and uh, we'll see if there's another update, some new content somehow. I don't know, I don't expect any new content, but if, if anything interesting happens update-wise, I'll definitely be sure to cover it in a future part. So yeah, uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.